grasping deformable hollow objects like plastic bottles and cups is challenging. The grasp should resist disturbances while minimally deforming the object to avoid damaging it or dislodging liquids. Here are two example grasps planned with classical wrench-based quality metrics. The contents belt and the plastic cup is not returned to its original shape after the grasp force is released. To plan grasps for 3D deformable hollow objects, we propose minimal walk, which is a novel quality metric that combines wrench resistance and object deformation. The algorithm computes the minimal walk quality metric in two steps. We first compute the minimum required grasp force to resist a target wrench while manipulation task by solving a linear program. Based on the grasp force and the object stiffness, we then infer the object deformation and the displacement of the gripper jaws. The minimum required work is the product of the grasp force and the displacements. We compute object stiffness through physical experiments where the gripper squeezes each location with the minimum possible force. Here we show the object stiffness map, where red indicates load stiffness. We sample antipodal grasp candidates and compute grasp quality for two manipulation tasks. We compare the proposed metric with the minimum force grasp quality metric, which is widely used to manipulate deformable objects. The left figure shows the plant grasps with the minimum force metric for vertical lifting task. The green axes indicate low grasp force. On the right, we show an example physical grasp, which failed due to content spillage and object plastic deformation. Here we show the plant grasps with the proposed minimal walk metric, where the green axes indicate low walk required for the lifting task. On the right, we show an example physical grasp, which succeeded. Here we show plant grasps with the minimal walk quality metric for a lifting and 90 degree rotation task and an example physical grasp. The balloon is not inflated, which suggests the liquid will be contained in the bottle. Thank you very much for watching this video.